Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're well. Now, you might be kind of thinking, oh Rich, you've got Guillotine 2099. Yes, it is part of the CCP and this video has been recorded on uh, Tuesday the 22nd of October, so it's been a while ago, but I'm, uh, I've got some stuff on, which uh, life as you know takes its time. This video is going to be centered around Guillotine. Now, not the stand, no, this is a standard one, not the Guillotine 2099, the Robo version. And the reason being that... I want to showcase the goddess in action. Now, if you saw a video which I posted on the channel a while ago, you know we showcased this idea of working this synergy here. But instead of having Guillotine 2099, we had Venom. Now, there are other combinations you can do with synergies. However, though, what does Guillotine 2099 add to the whole kind of dynamic? And will it make the standard Guillotine more goddess than she was before? And just to point out before we get into the full minutia of the video, Guillotine for me is rank 4, I'm not working Suicide Masteries, and as well she's got a signature level of 60, which is only really applicable for the health that you're going to see taken back from the gameplay. But the main thing to point out, as what we pointed out with the last video, is that it's all about the L3. And the L3 is that the Fleur de la Mal consumes all available souls and deals 2% of the opponent's health in direct damage per soul consumed. And one thing that we want to try and do is build up those souls. How we are looking to play the champion is a combination of the passive and the L3. So the passive being for every sixth maximum health that Guillotine removes from her opponent during combat, she feeds her Ancestral Blade and gains one soul. Souls expire every 10 seconds and grant Guillotine 63.4 critical damage rating per soul. Coupled with the fact of plopping in a little L3 now and again, and that is going to mean for some nice amount of damage. But it's only with the synergies that really make the character really pop and fizzle when it comes to actually doing a huge amount of damage. With Night Thrasher on, as you can see, each soul grants an additional 100% critical rating. Helpful. And then, obviously, we've got Master of Sword with Morning Star. Soul charges take 10 seconds longer to expire. Helpful to stack soul charges. If, you've got, if you don't have this synergy, there's no point stacking them because they'll expire as soon as they're on. And then we've got here, Huntress of the Contest, plus 10, oh sorry, the wrong one, 50% chance when striking a bleeding opponent to gain a soul charge. Again, helpful, all adds up. With finally this one here, that bleed ability, accuracy, and potency improves. And you're going to see some nice amount of bleed damage in the footage that's going to be playing shortly. So I think one of the biggest questions is what's really changed about Guillotine since I did the last video to what I've done now? Well, number one, with a bullet, rank four. Now, rank four is still putting out a lot more damage. We're seeing increases of like attack and health, like a huge amount actually. But I think that's really kind of made up by the uh, the synergies and other kind of improvements I've done to this character. Right, let's begin. Footage should be playing over the top at the moment of the Winter Soldier fight, going into a couple others after that one. But what have I done to Guillotine from the last video to this point now? Like, what what's the big changes? Well. It's all on the rank up. Now the rank up now is that the champion is at rank four. It's got good stats. Is it a case that I'll take this to rank five in the future? I don't really know. If I get a very specific mystic gem that puts me in something like, I don't know, 2015, 2016, 2016, 2017, whatever, then maybe from a variant I would consider it because it is a great champion. And am I gonna get magic anytime soon? Probably not. But the fact is, I'm actually getting more enjoyment from this character, especially because Kabam seemed to be caring about this created Kabam created character to put more synergies out for it with Guillotine 2099, which I think is a fantastic thing. From a standard playing perspective, Guillotine actually speaks towards my playing style. I'm very much a brawler. I, I like a parry here, parry here. You know, hitting in quite nicely. Yeah, I, I, if I have to, I'll do intercepts. But it's it's the way. That when you're looking at certain bits of content, you're like, time's precious, especially doing Marvel Contest of Champions as a YouTube kind of covering. It means that you have to be quickly in and quickly out of any kind of given fight. Unless you're doing something like Labyrinth of Legends or Realm of Legends uh, for, for video creation. Now, that's the thing. I like the aspects of Bleed, even much improved by this this team that I've got. Having Morningstar in it is, is quite nice. There's, there's some good characters. If I, if I was saying to myself, right, I need a questing team. This is a very good questing team, having Guillotine, Guillotine 2099, Gamora, Morningstar, and Night Thrasher. Night Thrasher Awakened, uh, Gamora Awakened, Morningstar Awakened, and Guillotine 2099, possibly Unawakened is fine, 
And you know, that team would be perfect. You've got some double immunities, you've got single immunity in there, you've got huge amounts of damage, debuff dealing, regeneration in some aspects. So I think from a team's perspective, it's a well put together team. If you're looking for a good go-to questing team that you'd like to take into uncollected each month, even to kind of grind through stuff like Act 6 is that there's a possibility there. I'm not sure it would be going into 6.2, but there are there are some options definitely um, within it, and uh, I'm not sure if you're going to go to 6.3 and then at a later date it's 6.4. Either way, it is a solid team for usage. And as you know, how we're going to play this is that we want to, in the less amount of hits, make sure that we are going to do build up all those charges and then we're going to be act, acting out with that L3 and then hitting it, putting in the damage there. But also the extent of healing that the champion can do. But I would be really interested in putting this champion up to rank 5 to see the extent of what else with damage and the extent of less hits that the champion can do in order to take out the enemy. One fight that I'm most impressed with is the Captain Marvel fight, even though there's a class advantage, so basically there's going to be a huge amount of damage on offer. It's just so incredible. By the end of this, in 113 hits, I managed to take down Captain Marvel. Now, I think that would probably be possible to get that down a lot more if it was a rank 5 guillotine, and as well, maybe kind of assessing if it was overkill to stack the amount of souls that I did, which obviously as you saw in the top left hand corner, I was stacking quite a bit in order to really put in a meaty amount of damage, which, you know, that, that was a huge amount of damage, but would have been better for me to kind of get that health down lower to then assess well, how many hits that was. Was it too overkill for the champion? Possibly, possibly not. And by any stretch of the imagination, I'm not saying that uh, Guillotine is a, uh, a champion that players would go, oh yes, we'll have this one. Because look, if you had suicides on, you'd probably be able to get those hits down l a lot more. I'm just a not massive, a not massive fan. A lot of the time, of suicide masteries. I will return back to them probably around about December time, just to do some intense arena grinding. But apart from that, it's not really uh, my thing. So yeah, like I said, absolutely incredible to see the extent of damage that Guillotine can do with a Guillotine 2099 Synergy. Now, as I said, I love the idea of having this as a, a questing team. I don't know if this, I mean, this is definitely a Realm of Legends clearing uh, Synergy team, but I don't know if this is gonna be for those that wanna do Labyrinth. And I have tried and experimented with Labyrinth a bit. I, I just don't think you're gonna see, if you manage to build up the extent of souls required, and, and you've gotta get around the whole kind of enrage thing, which can be kind of annoying, especially considering the evade, and I've been, as we all are, been stung by the evade from that particular node in in Labyrinth. So I, I don't know if it's going to be something for, for players to consider for Labyrinth or Legends. I'm sure that it's possible. And maybe it's a case that you take Guillotine and kind of focus on that tech champion getting you through to a large portion of it. And then obviously balancing that out with Guillotine. It's a pretty decent team that you could balance around. Morningstar, if you look to do like five battles, then you're going to get some some bonuses there. But apart from that, I don't know if this is going to be that kind of team for that. Definitely for Realm of Legends, if you're looking for a team to like clear through stuff, then yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, health-wise, all my health is there. And having Guillotine and also Guillotine 2099 as working a double team is perfect, getting you through a lot of these guys, which is going to be great, especially considering that when you get up to here, you're going to need a uh, poison immunity. And here, you need to do heal, for, heal reversal, which you've got with both characters. So yeah, definitely an option for clearing that, and obviously doing uh, good damage with Night Thrasher if you've got him awakened, as well with Gamora, and obviously as well Morningstar. So there are definitely a, a load of options there. It's just I think a lot harder work with Morningstar unless you've got a rank four or even a rank five version. So yes, there we have it guys, the dream team. This is a pretty decent team, do recommend it. But what are your thoughts? Put in the comment section down below. Will you consider putting this team together? Are you happy for gear team getting these uh, constant little synergy little bonuses? I certainly am, I'm glad that they do at least like once a year just look to improve uh, this this champion in the round stuff because it's a great champion for Kabam It's a great character for Kabam as well And it's a great character for Marvel and I would hope that in the future they look to develop this this character further especially obviously for uh, our, uh, our French um, fans and French subscribers and French uh, players of the game and, and French Canadians as well. So yeah Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye for now